Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Most riding mower repairs will require some disassembly of the product. Before you attempt this, make sure the engine has cooled, the ignition switch is in the off position, and the key has been removed. To avoid spillage, we recommend emptying the fuel tank as well. To access the mower's cooling fan, you will need to remove the battery. Lift up the seat and use two 7 16th inch wrenches to unthread the nuts to disconnect the battery cables. Disconnect the negative cable first. With the cables disconnected, carefully lift out the battery. Release the retaining tabs, then lift out the battery box and set it aside. To remove the cooling fan, use a 3 quarter inch socket to loosen and remove the cooling fan mounting nut. We recommend using an impact driver to make this easier. Next, engage the brake to loosen the drive belt and pull off the fan. Before you reinstall or replace the fan, confirm that the drive belt is in place on the transmission shaft. Then align the fan. Thread the mounting nut and tighten. You will need to release the brake to fully tighten the nut. Reposition the battery box and snap it into the frame. With the terminals facing the rear, replace the battery itself. Connect the red cable to the positive terminal, then thread and tighten the nut to secure. Connect the black cable to the negative terminal and secure it with the nut. Make sure the insulating cover is on the positive terminal and the wire retainer is secured. Then lower the seat. If you need to remove the steering plate or gear sector, lift up the hood and use a 3 8 inch socket to help unthread the fuel tank mounting bolts. With the bolts removed, set the tank aside. Now use a 9 16 inch socket to help loosen and unthread the steering support mounting bolts. Feed a bungee cord under the brake rod and secure it to the frame to hold the rod in place. Next, use a half inch socket to help unthread the mounting bolts on both sides of the steering plate assembly. Lower the mower deck to its lowest position. Then detach the steering plate. 
Use a three quarter inch socket and an adjustable wrench to loosen and unthread the nut and bolt securing the gear sector to the plate. Remove the plate. To remove the gear sector, lift off both bushings if still intact. Now use a half inch wrench and the 9 16 inch socket to unthread the mounting nuts securing the left side steering link to the sector. Unthread the nut to release the right side steering link and you can remove the gear sector. To reinstall the sector and steering plate assembly, first make sure the gear sector's teeth are facing downward. Then insert the left and right steering link mounting bolts through the bottom. Align the washers on the bolts. Then thread and tighten the mounting nuts to secure the links. Slide the bushings over the nuts. Insert the mounting bolt through the bottom of the gear sector. Align the washer. Then reposition the steering plate. Thread the mounting nut and tighten to secure the assembly. Make sure the wheels are straight, then reposition the steering plate assembly by aligning the notches with the brake rod bushings. Replace the mounting bolts to secure. Remember to secure the brackets with the bolts as well. Remove the bungee cord. Make sure the wheels are straight and the steering wheel is properly positioned. Reposition the steering shaft and support. Then re-thread and tighten the mounting bolts. Reposition the fuel tank and secure it with the bolts. Lower the hood. To detach the mower deck, first confirm that the deck is at its lowest position and that the clutch actuator lever is in the off position. Now remove the retaining pins securing the support arms and detach the arms to release the mower deck from the frame. Next, remove the deck belt from the engine pulley and the belt guides. Detach the clutch cable from the retainer. You can now slide the deck out from under the frame. If you need to replace a cutting blade, 
use pliers to squeeze the tabs to release the clutch cable retainer. Unhook the spring and set the cable aside. Now carefully flip the mower deck over. Secure the cutting blade you're replacing with a wood block or a comparable sturdy object. Then use a 5 8 inch socket to loosen and unthread the blade mounting bolt. With the bolt unthreaded, you can remove the blade. Align the new cutting blade on the spindle shaft with the sharp edge facing away from the deck. Hold the blade in place, then rethread the mounting bolt and tighten. Return the deck to its upright position. Hook the cable spring on the idler arm and secure the cable retainer on the bracket. To remove the steering wheel and shaft, Pull off the steering wheel cover and use a 3 quarter inch socket to loosen and unthread the mounting nut securing the steering wheel. Remove the nut and washer, then pull off the wheel. You can use a mallet to help loosen the adapter, then pull the adapter off. Now lift up the hood, unthread the fuel tank mounting bolts, and set the tank aside. Use a floor jack to lift up the front end of the mower. Use pliers to remove the spring clip securing the steering shaft. Loosen and unthread the steering support mounting bolts. Slide off the steering support and washer, then remove the shaft. Reinstall or replace the shaft by inserting it through the steering plate. Slide on the support with the hub side facing up, as well as the washer. Reposition the support and replace the mounting bolts. Slide the shaft up through the bushing in the console and reinsert the spring clip to secure. Lower the front end of the mower. Reposition the fuel tank and secure it with the bolts. Lower the hood. Reposition the steering wheel adapter on the steering shaft. Align the steering wheel on the adapter then secure it with the nut and washer. Snap on the steering wheel cover. You can now slide the mower deck back under the frame. Secure the clutch cable in the retainer. Align the deck belt on the engine pulley and the belt guides. 
reposition the support arms and secure them using the washers where applicable and the retaining pins. With the reassembly complete, refill the fuel tank and your riding mower should be ready for use.